I went to casino night at my local church a few days ago. It was pretty fun. They had a lot of casino games, realistic casino games, blackjack, roulette, a couple of poker tables. In Japan, gambling is illegal, but they have pachinko parlors everywhere. They operate through an interesting legal loophole. If you win, you end up winning a bunch of boxes of these little round metal pachinko balls. And the more of these pachinko balls you win, the better of a prize you get, like a stuffed animal. In the United States, it's illegal for the government to monetize the debt. If the government needs to borrow money, they have to sell treasury bills or IOUs on the open market. The theory is that the interest rates on these treasury bills or the IOUs will reflect the health of the government and the economy. And just like the government needs to hire private contractors when they need to do things like build roads, they need to hire private banks to sell these treasury bills. These private banks are called primary dealers. Once there was a black magic alchemist. He discovered that the secret of luck was based on a metaphysical combination of quantum probability distributions and conservation laws. The most widely known conservation law is the first law of thermodynamics, or the conservation of energy. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. And according to quantum mechanics, everything is governed by probability distributions. At the metaphysical level, probabilities have to observe certain conservation laws as well. It turned out that this was a missing ingredient in creating black magic alchemy based luck. Without respecting quantum conservation laws of probability distributions, it's very hard to create black magic alchemy based luck in a consistent way. But once you understand how these interact, it's very easy. You need to cast a spell that respects the conservation of probability, which means when gambling, you need to understand the mathematic laws governing the game and respect the conservation laws of probability. Probability laws are a function of nature and cannot be altered. For example, if you're playing blackjack and you play according to the best prescribed blackjack rules, you'll win 48% of the time and the casino will win 52% of the time. The longer you play, the closer you'll get to these idealized probability distribution functions. A whole table of blackjack players will have this as their average. This black magic alchemist found that so long as he kept the entire table at this 48-52 split, he could win, which means he would essentially steal the luck from the other players. For each increase of 1% he got, another player would decrease by 1%. So if he was playing with a table of four other people and he could turn down their probability from 48 to 45, he would get an extra 12%, which means he would win against the casino at a 60-40 split. In reality, the federal government sells these treasury bills to the primary dealers and the primary dealers turn around and sell them directly to the Federal Reserve. It allows them to monetize the debt without saying that they're monetizing the debt. Similarly, if you win a prize playing pachinko, you take it to a shop next door and these next door businesses will buy your prize for cash money. This allows the Japanese government to say that gambling in Japan is illegal while these pachinko parlors are everywhere. It's funny how when churches and schools want to raise money, they almost always do it by gambling, raffles, drawings, casino night, etc. I guess since the foundation of our existence is based on these quantum probability distributions, this makes perfect sense.